Reform, destruction, and annihilation. What's up, everybody? I'm Anarchicast, and it is time to review RDA from the Philippines. TRC 14 on Twisted Red Cross. Yes, this is RDA, short for Reform, Destruction, and Annihilation. Brave, United in Trust, 1987. And let me just say before I get into this review, it took me weeks and weeks and weeks of researching this band to figure out what the hell RDA stood for. I've asked so many of the punks that grew up with the band and everybody was like, oh, I forgot. And I was like, oh. every time I find a band name that's an acronym like RDA, DOA, IOD, NWA, whatever, I always have to figure out what the hell the acronym is. It's just part of my OCD, but yeah. Reformed Destruction and Annihilation. That actually goes well with the title Brave United and Trust and the songs on this, which is to our anti-war, anti-violence, survive and stay alive. I like the song Nuclear as the chant against nuclear war. I love all the songs on this. This album, just to put it in short, I have so many thoughts on this. I, I seriously, I've been listening to this album like nonstop for the past three weeks and just accumulating different thoughts on my head about it because RDA, Brave United and Trust, of all the bands on TRC, this one really stands out, and I can I really see how and why Tommy put this on him. Mean, I don't know the exact reasons why he saw something special in this band, but they are definitely a lick, a, a flavor, or a style of their own. So if you go around the internet, you'll see a bunch of people talking about RDAs saying shit like, they're the minor threat of the Philippines, or their sound bears similarities to early Discord. And yeah, yeah, they definitely do. If I did not know this band was a Twisted Red Cross band from the Philippines, let's pretend alternate reality I'm at a record store. Let's pretend instead of a cassette tape, this is a record. Say I'm at Amoeba or Rasputin or Love Garden or somewhere, and I, I picked this. I'm, I'm searching through the hardcore section, right? Just trying to find some good hardcore punk. I come across some RDA, Brave United and Trust. My immediate thought would have been, damn. This band must have played with Uniform Choice, Screaming for Change. This band must have played with DYS, you know, Brotherhood, Minor Threat, Jerry's Kids. This band must be part of that scene, especially with the name Brave United in Trust. That it's just got that East Coast hardcore Discord uh, theme to it, as well as the cover. I mean, he doesn't have, I believe that's Ollie the vocalist there flipping us off. He doesn't have any X's on his hand, so this band's not really straight edge now, but it does definitely fit into the whole sound vibe of that East Coast hardcore scene around Discord. It does fit into that. And it's very surprising, too, because it's this is the only band in Twisted Red Cross, to me at least, that has that sort of feel. I mean, yes, you have Intoxication of Violence, ILV, which is hardcore, but ILV, in my opinion, it kind of shares a bit more of the West Coast hardcore, and if, if you're gonna compare it to American hardcore, because like RDA, there's more scene unity, more survive and stay alive, man in uniform, you know, everybody's date, brave and interest. RDA is more kind of a positive, happy vibe type of deal, which ILV is just total annihilation. You know, it's just on the other side of the spectrum. There, I mean. Intoxication of Violence, Another Destructive Century. RDA is your happy uplifter, and IOV would be the opposite. To quote my Aunt Lori Stradage from Seattle, uh, Minor Threat is the uplifter, East Coast. Black Flag is the downer, the West Coast. And a lot of West Coast hardcore bands are that way. Bad Religion, How Could Hell Be Any Worse, Circle Dirt, you know. They're all a bunch of, you know, nihilistic hardcore and that's kind of what IOV sounds like to me, and RDA is the polar opposite. You want to listen to some punk rock music that's going to put you in an uplifting good mood? RDA, Brave, United, and Trust. I mean, simply put all there is to it. Which, another thing that I found kind of funny about this album, which I've shared with a few others, is that RDA, Brave, United, and Trust is 27 minutes long. Almost 28 minutes long. And for the type of hardcore that it is, which when I say that, there's different licks of hardcore, different characteristics of hardcore. Hardcore punk is everything from Black Flag, Zero Boys, Dead Ends, Dead Kennedys, Bad Religion, Acute, Barbecue Chickens, Malignant Youth, you know, Exploited, 
different bands from different areas, different scenes have different pitches, different sounds, different stylistics of hardcore. Due to the stylistic of hardcore that RDA falls under, you wouldn't expect their album to be 27, 28 minutes long. You'd expect it to be 20, 19, 18, uh, 21 minutes long in that area. The same length that perhaps Dead Ends, Complaints, Second Coming, and Damnation are. And IOV, for that matter, has just the speedy, abrasive, hardcore feel that it is. You'd expect it. Like, if I picked this up at a record store, I'd, I'd expect it to be a 20-minute long burst of fury. Because that's what Ollie's vocal style is. It's burst. He's not singing a lot of melodies. He's just bursting his voice out there. And that's like... The drums on this are phenomenal. Holy shit. My first few listens to this, I wasn't even focusing on his bursting vocals. I was focused on the drums, my friends. That drum is just an explosion that's all over the place. I know a lot of people like to comment on Dave Grohl's drumming of Nirvana and the drumming of Bad Brains, but holy hell, the dr the drumming of RDA, I don't know who the drummer is, but high five to whoever that is. They do a damn excellent job. And the fact that they keep their... Different, and each song's got a different drum pattern, you know, it's not just the same thing. A lot of hardcore bands, see, that's, the, that's what I'm getting into there. A lot of reasons, you know, that a lot of hardcore stylistic bands like this are only 20 minutes long is because a lot of the hardcore sounds the same. This band changes it up, each song has a different pace to it, a different riff. Some are a bit slower than others, some are a bit faster. The songs... They flow differently, and actually some of the songs on this album are longer than what you'd expect them to be due to their sound. This album, this band is just different. It's different on Twisted Red Cross, and for the, I'm gonna just say Discord sound, for the Discord sound that everyone says it has, it's different in that, in that narrative because it flows differently. It's got a different feel to it. It's longer, it's more put out. And some of the songs are slower, some of the vocals are slower, other songs are fast with, ah, I'm not even gonna fucking try it. But you know what I mean? RDA just takes the Discord sound and puts their own DNA in it, and they just create something new with it, and they go. They just fucking go, and the lyrics are wonderful. This is a very uplifting album. If you have the cassette tape, the original TRC, then more than likely you have the lyric sheet in there so you can follow along to it. Because, yeah, the, the, <laughs> this style of hardcore sometimes is hard to understand the lyrics. I mean, I, I understood it just fine. I mean, I listened to this album, God, about 30, 40 times. I keep looping it over and over and over again just to make sure that I got everything. And I bet I, I, I danced around to it. I hope I get to own it someday because this album is phenomenal. But Reformed Destruction and Annihilation, RDA, look at that title, Reformed Destruction and Annihilation, you know, that's what the music feels, it's just talking about that stuff in an uplifting way, I mean, what else more can I really say about RDA, I'm a friends on Facebook with, I believe, the bassist, Gene Lorenzo, shout out to him, I wish I could... I hope I get to meet him in person someday and talk to him because I have so many questions to ask that dude. But yeah, I hope I said everything. I'm just, I've been really excited to do this review. It's January 1st currently, and man, RDA is just an uplifter. It's an uplifter. It's speedy fast. It can be a little slower at times, so but the album just flows in such a positive notation that, yeah, I mean. It's just a one-of-a-kind album, and I definitely do see why Tommy Tanchenko... I mean, I don't know the, like I said, I don't know the exact reason why he's looked at these guys and said, You know what? I see some potential for you. I don't, I don't, I don't know what his reasoning was for, but... Yeah, I can see why Tommy would have looked at them and said, I like your style, I like your speed, I like your lyrics, I like your flow. Come in my office, we're gonna put you on Twisted Red Cross. As you know... RDA and the I can't say I forgot the shit about this guys. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, thanks so much for watching this uh review of RDA Reform Destruction and Annihilation. 
Brave United and Trust released back in 1987 on Twisted Red Cross. I hope you had a lovely holiday season as this is January 1st, 2020. First review of the 20s. <laughs> roaring. Roaring as hard and as fast as RDA. So it's perfect for the new decade. The new move. Yeah, you get what I was going there for anyway. So, I'm in Arkaza. Dos Vidania.